month away from the start of fall, and that means pumpkin spice lattes. I think they have those already, but hay rides in our, our fall favorite here in New England foliage. Uh, meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff was asked a question during a Facebook chat how uh, the drought would affect this year's foliage. Well, the answer he found may surprise you. When the dry spring continued into summer, bringing parts of Western Mass into severe drought, viewers began getting worried about the fall. Does have that severe drought? Google left me stumped. Depending on what article you read, it would either be a spectacular year or a very dull one. To get to the bottom of this question, I spoke to Felicia Andre, forester for the DCR's Forest Health Program. It should be a normal season as long as the weather holds for us. Like you really want like warm days and cool nights because that way you'll, you'll have a slow death of a leaf. Andre says that our peak occurs in early October. Once chlorophyll, the green part of the leaf, stops being produced, the other, more vibrant colors begin to show. You get to see those other colors, so the yellows, oranges, reds. And in drought situations, that'll actually start happening sooner. So while the drought may affect the timing of the fall colors, a different danger has grown from the lack of rain. It is, and it's just because of the gypsy moth. It's, it's allowing uh, an outbreak of gypsy moth. They're normally kept in check by a fungus called entomophaga. And that fungus, like any other fungus, requires moisture, particularly in the spring. And that's not happening. And because that's not happening, it's not getting to the insects. And the insects are reaching adulthood. And in order to do so, they're eating everything in their path. Andre says a survey in the spring found 350,000 acres of defoliation in the state. That number has certainly grown since. It's pretty bad out east. Like areas like Toro, uh, Wellfleet, it looks like winter. In Western Mass, Quabbin. I would say quabbin and areas along the mass pike. But with the gypsy moth, it just eats everything that's green on it, so you can't help but notice. And when people notice it, it's way too late to do anything about it. Fortunately for leaf peepers, it's not all bad news. Berkshires are fine. I haven't seen any damage in the Berkshires. Uh, but it, where it's hitting, it's hitting really hard. Even though you may be seeing some changing colors in your backyard, Andrew says not to worry. You know, I feel like I, I see it every August and every August. I go, oh, geez, already. And I think it's more along the lines of we're not ready for fall. For the areas not affected by the gypsy moth, Andrew says that as long as we go into the fall season slowly, it will prolong the leaves on the trees, which in turn prolongs the color. In the studio, first warning meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff.